Oh, come on, move your head with me. Welcome to the Overcomers Bible Fellowship Show. Certainly, we are delighted to have you uh, view our show today, and we know that uh, there will be a word for you and also even a word for me. Uh, we bring you greetings from West Angeles Church of God in Christ, where Bishop Charles C. Blake and Mrs. May L. Blake are our pastor and first lady. We just want you to know that we love you. Uh, we're going to take you into the Overcomers Bible Fellowship uh, gathering, and so we will reference and study the Word of the Lord. And so we invite you, as we always do, to grab your pen and your paper. At the at conclusion, also our contact information will be shown. Today we're talking about we must repent, for we need to repent. God is not on a hell campaign looking to throw people into hell. He's on a heaven crusade, a heavenly crusade. And, but that won't just come just because we're breathing air. We have to know that there are qualifications for going to heaven and there are qualifications for even going to hell. And in repenting, that qualifies us uh, to be heavenly, heavenly bound. And so I just want you to know that uh, we must repent. You must repent. I must repent, and not just one time. We must continually repent against whatever we do against God's Word. We have to find out what God's Word is so that we'll know we need to repent. I love you. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in. Sit back and allow the Word of God to touch your heart and my heart. Take care. All right. Okay. All righty Okay. I don't, don't, don't forget the stone I, I threw at y'all. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, well, just, just to kind of uh, conclude some thoughts then, I appreciate each one of you have come have come forth, talked about um, it being established way years, many, many years before um, the, the Lord. In the Old Testament, there was a 400-year silence. The message, uh, the, the last message they heard, that was given to the people was to do what? Repent. And then when the, when the word came back, uh, what was the message? Repent. And so it was a continuation. In other words, the Lord does not take us, he doesn't graduate us until we get what he told us. And we keep hearing about repent because, repenting because we have to know that repenting is something that we must do on a continuous basis. It's not enough that we repent when we first got saved. You know, well, years ago I, I repented, but I don't have to really repent now. The devil is alive. Every day we have to repent. We have to repent for, 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 for what we think, for what we say, for what we do, for what we don't do. Because there are things that we have to repent for that, that we don't do. We, we weren't nice to. We, we didn't speak nicely to them. We didn't encourage them. We didn't embrace them. We did not. We did not yield to them. So there are some things that we need to repent for, for things that we did not do. Repentance means a change of heart and attitude that leads to change behavior. Repentance means a change of heart and attitude that leads to change behavior. There needs to be change behavior behind repentance. Repentance is not just going through the form, or you know, and then turn around and doing it again. No, I mean there are going to be times we have to repent for the same thing, but 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 the repentance this time, the next time shouldn't be as in as, as intense as it was last time because we should be progressing. Do you see what I'm saying? There should be some growing in our life, and so we have to understand that repentance means change behavior. We must be ready to change because God himself does not change. Mm -hmm. He does not negotiate. He does not meet us halfway and, and, and saying, okay, well, I know it's wrong, but it's okay. Uh, I love you anyway. No, he loves us too much to leave us halfway cooked. Thank you, Lord, you cook us all the way. Thank you, Lord, you change us all the way. I'm so glad to know that through repenting, we can get it right with God and we can have some changes in our life. And so we have to understand that the Lord loves us too much to leave us where we are. And this is why we keep getting the message over and over and over that we do. And we do need to repent. Some of the, the reason why we're in bondage is because we have not repented. Because anything that is against God's word is sin. And if we feel as though we can just shout it over, shout over it, talk over it, give over it, dance over it, 
it's not, it's not taken care of. Because I didn't repent, I just gave over it. I, it's not repent, I just wished it, wish it over it. It's not, I just talked over it. Hallelujah. And so, and so until we, you know, I, I, when my boys were growing up, I had a tendency, and even now, sometimes they, you know, they'll throw it back at me. Um, uh, they'll say, I'm, you know, they would say, I'm sorry. Okay, sorry for what? State why you're sorry. I don't want you just to throw loosely, I'm sorry. No, why are you sorry? And, and sometimes when I have to repent and say, I'm sorry, okay, mom, for what? <laughs> I tell you, it's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. But we have to, you know. But, but really and truly, we, you know, we there are some things that we can say. You know what? Um, and actually, I, I just I, I I'm getting a check in my spirit that we really can't even say, Lord, forgive me for things I don't know, because He lets us know. He lets us know when we get off track. Yes. It's like the bumps in the road. You know when you go out of your lane, bump, bump, bump. Bump, bump, bump. When I'm about to say something, he doesn't wait until I say it and say, you should have said that. He says, don't say it. Or when I'm about to do something, he doesn't, he doesn't wait until I do it. I get my hands all dirty, and then he says, don't do it. No, before. So really and truly. So really and truly, when we repent, we need to confess, Lord, forgive me for how I talked to Queen today. That wasn't nice. And I know you had, I know you were convicting me, and that's why I'm so convicted now, because Lord, you told me not to, and I did anyway. Yeah. Instead of saying, Lord, forgive me. Because what? The next the, I'll go back again and, and offend Queen. Why? Because, you know. It didn't register in my mind. See, it, you know, we need to come face to face with what we do. We need to come face to face with how we, you know, what we don't do. We need, I need to see it in black and white. Okay, you were not nice to Queen, or, 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 or you told that lie, or whatever the case may be. So, Lord, forgive me for lying. Because I lied today. I spread out loud today. Lord, forgive me because, you know, I wasn't honest today. Lord, forgive me because, you know what? I did. I, I, did. I, I cursed her, and I'm so sorry, Lord. I, 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 am, I am sorry. I wasn't sorry then, but, Lord, I'm sorry now. And so, Lord, just watch me. Okay, Lord, forgive me because I, I did take something that wasn't mine. So, Lord, forgive me instead of just saying I'm sorry. Period. When we, when we speak while we're sorry, it brings us face to face with why we're sorry. And it puts more of a check in our heart that we don't do it. Because, see, when we don't say I'm sorry for da da da, then it says we kind of get away from it. You know, we kind of get away with it. Because I'm sorry. But why are you sorry? Well, I, well, I'm sorry because I was flirting with, and I should, whatever. You see what I'm saying? And so it brings the reality. And so the Holy Ghost just let us know. That we that that general inclusive clause that we do, Lord forgive me, is a cop out, and it doesn't advance us. It doesn't help us to grow. We need to say, Lord forgive me, and go down because you you only like He doesn't wait until night to, to to let you know. No, you we know when we do Amen. something. Amen. Oh, come on. We know when we do we know when we when we do something, yes. and for Him to know to do good. And do it does not, it's what? And I might not make it to tonight to repent. And then besides that, I might need that chance to repent for something else. Something I, you know, I, I'm really wrestling with. Not something I just did and could have, you know, and, and had an option or, or it wasn't as much of a fight for me to, 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 to resist. And so it means a change. God will not compromise his holiness to meet us halfway. Therefore, we must repent completely. And again, repentance is not a one-time thing. One of the things that uh, really uh, showcased David as being a man after God's own heart was that he was a repentful man. Because yes. we do know David was not sinless. We do know if anybody need to be stoned, y'all, let's tie David right here, and everybody pick up some stones and start throwing them at David because you know what? That brother needs to go down <laughs> right now. <laughs> but what kept him in grace 
was that he was a repentful man. Yes, he was. And he repented. But the thing about it is that the Lord wants to spare us from so much pain and so much agony, y'all. This is why he encourages us not to do it. Yeah, we may have we may have an opportunity to repent. And I say may because we don't know where death is. And, and God forbid if we do something and don't have a chance to repent. Now, I'm not going to get into what you're going to help you. Don't, you know, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not on the other side. And I, and I honestly don't believe that the Lord will allow us to make, uh, the Lord take one incident and, and wipe the slate clean and send us to hell. Because he's not anxious for us to go to hell. He, that's why he gave us a son. And that's why his son died such a horrible death because of his interest and love and us not going to hell. He's not on a hell crusade. He's on a heaven crusade. He really wants us to make it. And so that means that when we don't make it, all those people who will not make it, they have done everything counter, everything counter to what God has been doing all their lives to rescue them from hell. He is not on a hell crusade. He's on a heaven crusade. And this is why he hounds us like a hound dog. And this is why the Holy Ghost does not let us get away. And this is why we cannot rest. And this is why we, this is why we just can't sin and just be throwing it off. Why? Because he says, no, I'm on a mission. I'm on a heaven mission. I'm on a heaven campaign. I want to, I want you to, I want you. I want you. Y'all know how we, oh, y'all know how we want somebody. We will go to the ends of the world to get them. Because I wanted him. He wanted her. <laughs> and so we will walk on water to prove my love just so you be mine. Well, we have to know if the Lord is saying, look, I have proven my love so that you'll be mine. I can't prove my love anymore than what I've already done. And all I need you to do is to repent that will unleash, unleash in your life all that I have for your life. Amen. To release all. Because what he's saying, John 10, 10, I came to give you life, abundant life. A life to its fullest. I mean, be, beyond what I, what I came to give you, there is nothing else. But what stands between you and receiving what I got for you is the need for repenting. And remember, we talked about repentance. It's not just a word, but it's a change behavior. And so we need to understand that the Lord is calling upon us to repent. And just like John, we have to know that uh, we can't uh, seek to be part of the popular uh, in crowd. But we must do what the Lord has said. And so, and so it doesn't mean that you're bizarre or you're crazy acting. But to others, you might be, because you have to be that voice crying in the wilderness. And the wilderness represented to me is kind of like me and the Hail Mary, you know, the Hail Mary football. You throw it up, and whoever kind of catch it. And the word of God is for whosoever will, let them come. The word of God is not to discriminate against anybody, but whoever will grab hold of that, whoever will, whoever will hold fast to what the Lord is offering, then he will embrace them. And so, the, the because really and truly, when it boils down to it, thank you, Lord, the messenger is not as important as the message. And the message is, is to repent because I love you, because the kingdom of God is at hand, because I have a life full of fullness for you that I'm just busted, and because it is the Father's good pleasure, great joy, gives him great happiness, and so the message is important. Yeah, we should look our best, and we should smell our best, and we should be all of that. Because I don't want to have come here every Sunday and, 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 and share it with you, and you be blessed, and you go on and run for Jesus, and I myself be a cast when the devil is alive. And so I have to keep myself girded up. I have to keep myself in a certain order. It is important how I live my life. Yes. Because I am the voice of God for, the, for, for, the, for, these, for this yes. class, then I have to make sure that I represent him not only as being the voice, but as being the, the, the display of who he is. Yes. The Bible tells us that teachers are going to be greater common condemnation. Yes. You know, so, so because of that, while 
I do have a responsibility, a visible responsibility to be accepting so you won't be turned off and you won't be scared and run the other way. I also have to know that when it's all said and done, when I get to get my nails done and try to be presentable before you, when I get to get my hair done and try to be presentable before you, when I get to taking a shower and try to wear clean clothes and try to smell good, when it's all said and done, that ain't the message. The message is to repent for the kingdom of God is in you. Because he wants to give us the kingdom. Because he wants to blow our mind. Because he want to do for us what we never had done for us before. And I do mean before. Because he wants to take us from glory to glory. From height to height. From death to death. We have, as long as we're living on this side of glory, we have not, we have not topped off. We have not hit the, we have not hit the, 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 the. we have not done it all. We have not experienced it all. We have not embraced it all. We have not been given all. Because when we go, it's going to be because we've been filled up on this side. That the only, way, only, only thing we can do now is to go to the other side. And the other side is kind of like when you have all this free memory in your computer. You know, just, 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 oh, just endless space. Eternity is just endless space. And so he has to take us from this side because we filled up on this side of experience what we can experience of him to take us and free up our memory. <laughs> so that in all eternity, where there is no structure, where there is no box, where there is no boundary for him to express his love to us. He ushers us into that. Why? Because it's just like the ocean. You, I love going to the ocean, not getting in the water. I love sitting in my car, which is not a good thing. <laughs> my car. But anyway, I, I love just looking at the ocean because it's just endless. You look to the right, to the left, to the, you look forward, it's just water, water, water. It's, it's no bond, it's no fence. Well, that's what, that's, that's how eternity is. He wants to bring us into that so that we will, it will be no endless boundary restriction of his love. And you know, you, we, we can, no matter how good Sunday is, no matter how good it is when the saints come together, okay, we do know we have to dismiss because I didn't go home, go to bed because tomorrow we got to go to work. I don't care how good it gets, we have to bring it to the end. But he wants, to, he wants us to be prepared to repenting, to be able to go to that life where we won't have to end, where every day will be a day of celebration for us as believers. So I want you, I'm going to invite you to bow your heads and close your eyes. I don't have to list what God may be challenging your heart to repent or my heart to repent for. We know that. And so just take a couple of moments to acknowledge what God has been saying to you and to me that we may have turned a deaf ear to or, or over talked to him because we didn't want to come face to face with reality of who we are and what we were dealing with. But we have to know that he wants us to repent because it's for our good. There is nothing more that he can do for us than what he's already done. He's already walked on water. He's already sent his only son who was sinless to die a sinful death so that he would die in our place so that we may receive life in his place. That we may receive life. That we may receive abundant life, an overflowing life, an endless life. See, we get a glimpse of eternity when we come to him. But repentance is what keeps us in the, you know, there to, there to experience that glimpse of eternity. Rep not being non-repentant shuts the door. It puts a dam between us and all that he has to offer to us. And so what is it that you and I need to repent of today? I don't, you know, what is it? The smart mouth, the bad attitude, not necessarily being a person 
of, of really true character, a person of integrity, a person really can't trust you, a person really can't believe what you say? Do you buy the stuff that shouldn't be yours? Do you mess with other people's stuff that sh you shouldn't be messing with? What is it? Just as sure as we are breathing air today, there are some issues that the Lord wants us to repent for because he's left us on this side to get it right so that we will unlock the door, unlock the dam to step into that endless, wonderful life of eternity with him where there won't be any more repentant needed. Need Why? Because of what we will experience on the other side. And so what is it? Be quick to repent. Be quick to be sorry. Don't just say, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Say, why are you sorry? Lord, I'm sorry. Forgive me for... Da -da 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 -da. Forgive me, Lord. And so, Father, even right now, we lift up Jesus to you. We thank you that he is our salvation. Thank you, Lord, that he is the one that we can come to you through. Thank you, Lord, that you did not... Oh, God, you've had ample reasons to kill us where we stood or to kill us where we sat. Hallelujah. But, Father, you did not because of your grace and your mercy. Father, here we are, Lord God. I know we're looking good. I know we're smelling good. But, Father, you know the stink, the, 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 the rotten, the, 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 the deteriorating thing that's within us, the issues that's within us, Lord God, that's just rotting on the inside that will rot on the outside if, if, if I'm kept. And so, Father, thank you for another opportunity, Lord God, to get it right. Thank you for reminding us that we need to repent. Thank you, Lord God, for giving us the opportunity to repent. Thank you, Lord God, that you have given us your son. You've proven your love because you've given us everything that you could give us. Hallelujah. And because of your love for us, you refuse to leave us like we are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for your grace that wants to pull us up and take us higher. Thank you, dear God, that you love us in such a way that we have opportunity to repent, Lord God. Forgive us right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Forgive us right for we desire to be a blessing to this world. We desire to, we desire to impact the world. We, we desire to impact the kingdom for your glory. But we first know that it must begin with us, that we must be right before we can, step, before we can spread righteousness. We must be holy before we can spread holiness. We must be right before you. Must, we must be forgiven before we can tell the story of being forgiven. Lord God, we give you glory and we give you praise. Now, Lord, help us to be a committee of one that even as Aaron Bank had mentioned, that committee of one. Lord God, to make it in our mind that we will make the difference in our life, that we will submit ourselves, we'll repent, which means a turning around, change behavior, and that we will do it differently. We won't be caught in this situation again, or those situations again, but we must, we, we will get it right with you. Lord, we give you glory. Lord, we give you praise. And we thank you, Lord, for another chance. In Jesus' name, thank God. Amen. Amen. Anybody need to receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior? You need to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Anyone? Anyone want to join our class? You want to become a member of the Overcomers class? Anybody want to join? You want to join? Come on, Lord. Come on, sweetheart. Come on, baby. Even through all of this today, you want to join. That's a good thing, and we honor God for you. We honor God for that. Um, Again, just give your first and last name to Dolores Gilliard. Gilliard, okay. And I'm just, uh, again, we we don't take a light. We are honored, the Lord, that you want to be a part of us. We commit ourselves to you to be whatever God would have us to be in your life. And we want you to give us your gifts and your talents because God has placed within you what we need also. So we want that from you, okay? And I'm just going to read uh, the place to make sure that you are, we're on the same page, okay? 